hello everybody welcome back to my channel it's me zoe and yeah if you like comment and subscribe we just got over 600 subscribers so that's very exciting thank you all so much um yeah today's video is very exciting it's also probably very long uh yeah i have my entire and i mean the entire excuse me bath and body works body body care collection yeah so i have my like almost 100 mists my uh, lots of lotions um, only a few body creams and lots of shower gel actually. Um, yes, if you have not seen so seen it yet, you should probably go watch my three wick candle collection. Um, and yeah, at the end of this video, I will also throw in the few minis I have as well as my like Victoria's Secret pink collection. Um, just because it's not big enough to warrant a video. I don't think many people will watch that because I didn't, like never do anything for pink Victoria's Secret on my channel. So that'll just be at the end or mixed in. And yes, I will put timestamps and chapters below for each section like body creams, specialty scrubs, um, lotions, mists, shower gels, uh, and so forth. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started. So welcome to the collection. Um, yes. So the first mist I have, and I'm not going to go through notes, I'm just going to give you my description on my head is Broly Rosé. This has like orange and cranberry. It's a very belly fragrance. Not my favorite, but it's still pretty good. I also have Blush Cardian. This is a new one. It's like a raspberry creamy scent. I actually really liked this. I was intending to put on wrapped in vanilla and I accidentally put on Blush Cardigan and it still smelled really good. <laughs> so I also have wrapped in vanilla. It's like a creamy um, frosting-y gourmand vanilla. Not cakey, but more like cake frosting. I also have the new Prismatic Stars, a very fruity berry scent with a hint, a hint of like a um, feminine, um, a hint of feminine floral, but mostly just a fruity, super sweet berry scent. Also have Winter Berry Wonder. This is an amazing scent. Um, it's very, very cranberry esque. Um, there's cranberries in this. Um, cranberry as a note, and I just love it. It's such a beautiful scent. Very fruity. It's very strong, actually, as well. There's lots of cranberry. I love cranberry scents, so yes. I also have Cactus Blossom. This has, like, lemon and cactus blossom. It smells really good, honestly. It's very floral, but in a super sweet, fruity, lemon type of way. It's probably one of my favorite floral fragrances um, ever, so yeah. I also have Bright Christmas Morning. I love this one. Not as much as the other things in the Christmas collection. It's probably my least favorite, but um, it's still a pretty good scent. So yeah, it has like um, orange, and I think it has, yeah, it has orange. It has oranges, apples, and berries, so it's a very fruity scent. Then my favorite, Twisted Peppermint. I love this one so much. It's super cute packaging as well. There's this creamy hint of balsam, um, vanilla, pepperminty, beautiful scent. Then we have Life of the Party. So I like Life of the Party. I'm just not sold on it yet. So there are the notes if you wanted to read them. But yeah, um, I'm just not sold on the citrusy Prosecco part of this fragrance. I like the vanilla and like some of the um, perfumey sweetness, but I'm not sold completely on it. So I only have the mist so far, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get the rest of the items either. I also have Pink Suede. Um, I forgot the button this one this yeah it's just berries i don't get much cotton but i do get a suede leathery woodsy kind of note it's very pretty and i think it's very underrated as well okay next we have whipped rose latte i didn't really think i'd like this one but i ended up really liking it actually so yeah and there's a slight hint of cocoa like super slight um it's a creamy like frothy vanilla um with a lot of soft creamy floral and this is coming out at some animal sale again but um the notes are or the name is different it's gonna be whipped rose and vanilla so mm -hmm. another wrapped in vanilla so next i have strawberry snowflakes this is like if you take the strawberry from strawberry pound cake and mix it with a whipped cream fluffy hint of bergamot um pretty strawberry scent very nice i do like this one a lot I'll get backups and my second backup for Red Vanilla, so I have three in total. Then we have Black Raspberry Vanilla. This is a very tart scent with a hint of like a um, 
of a green note. It's very nice. I do like it. For a, a raspberry scent, there's not much vanilla, as it says on the label, but um, <clears throat> it is definitely a raspberry with a hint of green scent and still a little bit sweet, and I do really like it. It's a classic. Then I have two Peach Prosecco macarons. I do love this scent. Um, it's very nice and pretty. It has like a peach rings scent with a hint, I mean a hint of like a vanilla macaron cookie smell. So yeah, it's very nice. Not very gourmand per se, but it is pretty good overall. Then I have Bubblegum Pop. Super pretty packaging. This is like a um, bubblegummy, fruity scent. It literally smells like bubblegum and it stays smelling like bubblegum. Some people said it's dried down to just lemon. In my opinion, it stays, stays smelling like bubblegum. Next, I have Pink Pineapple Sunrise. This one's very nice. It's a sweet, juicy pineapple scent with a hint of like a sugary, like um, sugar syrup kind of smell. It's really nice. I do like it a lot and it is a really good fruity fragrance for summer since I don't really like summer fragrances all that much. That one was pretty good. I also have Almond Blossom. This is a sweet, um, syrupy almond note with definitely a hint of floral. Well, floral is like half and like the almond, the sugar enus is the other half. So it's like half floral, half sugary vanilla almond smell, but it's really nice. And I do think it's a perfect mix between like gourmand and floral. And then I have a classic. This is Rose. I thought about returning this one, but I can't seem to do it because I just, for some reason, I like like the super powdery rose scents. Like I liked Rose Water and Ivy. Which I did return because I was not sure about it, but I, I really do like rose. It's just a sweet, soft, rosy, powdery floral. Not like an old person rose, or I don't know, that was kind of rude. Um, but um, yeah, it's just a sweet, soft, like powdery, florally rose. Then we have a berry waffle cone. This stuff is literally ridiculously strong. As you can see, I have a little dent in this one, but this is actually my third mist I've had. I used up one and returned one because I was like, I don't need it. I can't use this up in a month anymore because this is literally so strong. Um, yeah. I would not suggest putting this in your project used up, especially not the mist. It's literally so strong. Um, it's ridiculous, but I do love this scent. It's a very strong, very, very strong berry scent with a creamy, crispy waffle cone note. Very pretty. And then we have Be Enchanted. Now this is like a, um, whiny, um, pomegranate strawberry sugary velvety creamy scent it's beautiful it's actually very sophisticated i've used up a mist this before that is the dent i have on that but i love this one so much and i wish it would come back again for semi-annual sale because i would pick up more then we have cozy season i forget the notes on this one. Oh yeah so this is like a lavender like a honey lavender and a creamy oak note it's so beautiful i do love it a lot um, yeah, this is a really nice lavender scent. I don't really usually like lavender scents, but this one's a really good one. Nice exception. Um, and it's actually very pretty. Okay. Now we have Whipped Berry Meringue. This is literally the same exact scent, except for, like, a few tweaks from, um, Boardwalk Taffy and Cotton Candy Clouds, of which I have had both. Um, yeah, the, those are the notes of the same. But yeah, this one's a creamy, soft, sweet, sugary, hint of berry kind of smell. This one definitely is a lot more creamy, definitely more of like a meringue whipped texture or smell. <laughs> um, yeah, very nice, and I do like it a lot. Then I have Pastel Skies. This is one of my favorite scents that came out this year, I think. I don't know if I put this in my top scents of the year um, video, but I did love this one a lot. Um, the notes are soft cloud berries, pink sweat sugar, and coconut musk. Um, it's very interesting. In a way, um, yeah, I've already used up a full mist of this. It's creamy, soft berries. You get that musk. You get that sugary note. And um, just a soft, sweet coconut. It's a beautiful fragrance, and I absolutely love it. Then we have another one of my favorites. We have Sunset Glow. This is my third mist that I have. I've used up two. So, yeah, Sunset Glow. Um, those are the notes, but it's a creamy, cherry, vanilla, and coconut scent. Very sparkling, but in, like, the best way possible. Um, not like a sparkling rosé, cranberry, like, berry scent. Not like that, but just sparkling as in, like, bright. Um, such a beautiful scent, and I love this so much, and I need to get more because I don't want to use it up. And then I have Beach Nights. I wasn't as impressed with this as I thought I would be. Um, a lot of people loved it. There's just, like, there's no s'more scent. It's literally just a creamy vanilla marshmallowy scent with a hint of, like, a graham cracker note so yeah it was I wasn't as impressed as I thought I'd be but I did like it 
Okay, so on to the second row. <laughs> it's going a little difficult when I go to the third row, but Pink Velvet Cupcake. This is a beautiful scent. Um, There's actually no notes on this one, but this definitely has a um velvety, creamy, sweet scent. It's like berries and sugary. It's like um if you took uh, velvet sugar and just put like berries, more berries in it, that's what this smells like. Very creamy, very sweet, very sugary. Then you have raspberry jam donut. I do have a little dent on this one. Um, this is like literally smells like a raspberry filled donut, but so much more gourmand. This is like so much more sugary, sweet berry than a donut, but it just smells so good. Then I have Autumn Derive. This one's really nice. I did love this one a lot. Um, it's like a, a berry scent with woodsy notes, and it's very fresh, but also sweet at the same time, and I do really love it. Then one of my favorites, I've used up at least one of these before, so this Champagne Apple and Honey. It's a creamy, bright um, champagne and lots of fresh apple scent. I love it so much. Very cute packaging as well. Then I have Forever, whoa, Forever Red. This one's a little hard to describe, so put this on there. This is Fiery Pomegranate, Red Peony. Rich vanilla rum and oakwood. You definitely get the creaminess of the rum, but you mostly get like that pomegranate scent. Some people say it smells like Swedish fish. I don't agree, but it smells like a perfumey take on Swedish fish, I guess. Okay. Next, we have coconut candy apple. This is literally my favorite scent out of a lot of scents. Like, this is probably top three. There are the notes. Um, I did gift one to Sonia because I love this one so much. I wanted her to have it too if she didn't already because this one was actually really hard for me to find um so yeah i love this one so much it's a sweet a sweet um apple scent with a lot of sugary coconut flakes it's just such a good scent and then i have two of my vanilla confetti sparkle um those are the notes this is a repackage of um confetti cake pop which i did have a body cream and a lotion of and i used up so yeah i do love both of these a lot Next, I have Gingham Love. This is a beautiful berry floral scent. It's very soft on the rose, which I think is the floral. Yeah, no, it's very, yes, it has rose meringue, so it's a creamy rose with that freesia and those berries. It's a very nice take on a florally, more sweet version of Gingham. They have Happy Vibes. This is the um, newest release of this. It used to come in like this beautiful, um, yellow textured packaging is so pretty but this one's just like like a crisp um pear like hint of citrus kind of scent it used to smell so much better but it still smells okay um then i have georgia peach and sweet tea this is from like old school bath and body works yeah it's literally from 2018 um this is so old but um it's like what almost almost six years old or almost five years old now so yeah, it's such a good scent. I love it so, so much. It smells so good. It's like sweet peaches and you can seriously smell like this, the peach sweet tea. It literally smells exactly like that. That's all I can describe it as. Then I have the infamous Fall in Bloom. This was like everybody's was screwing up us um, when it came out because it smells apparently just like Burberry Her, Burberry Her or Burberry Her Elixir. Just a nice plum, oak wood, mossy kind of fragrance. Very pretty, very floral, but also very um, uplifting. Then I have Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. This is just a creamy hint of coffee, sweet marshmallowy um, scent with a hint of like pumpkin spices. It's such a good scent. Also have Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Again, yeah, those seriously look like apples, by the way. <laughs> um, but it's a pumpkin scent, like pumpkin spice and then super, super gourmand syrup and waffles smell. It's such a good scent, and I love it so much. Then I have vanilla coconut. This is a sweet, creamy vanilla with a hint of, like, a peach floral. Super nice, very nice vanilla coconut scent, but I wish the peach wasn't there. I also have Christmas cookies. I love this scent. It's, like, biscotti and caramel and just a sweet sugar cookie kind of scent. It's such a good an amazing scent. It's perfect for layering, especially with Twisted Peppermint and other scents as well. It's such a good scent. We also have the newest version of Coconut Cream Pie. I love this one a lot. I recently used it up, and at first I didn't like it all that much, but after that, I actually liked it. It was very sweet, very sugary, very fall appropriate. I just really liked it a lot, and it's a really nice gourmand coconut scent. I also have Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. This one is super nice it smells super fruity and creamy as well it's like a creamy fruity 
peach with a soft and marshmallowy vanilla scent. It's such a beautiful scent. I do love it a lot. Then I got Golden Eclipse, which I'm not super familiar with because um, I haven't really used it yet. Yeah, it's berries, blossoms, and woods. So, yeah, it's really just a nice, basic kind of fragrance. It's berries. It's literally berries with a hint of floral and a woodsy note. It is very pretty, but very basic. Not backup worthy, in my opinion, but it is still nice. Then we have Snowflakes and Cashmere. This one is so beautiful. You get a hint of that Clementine, mostly the creamy vanilla and the creamy cashmere, which is a soft, comforting scent. Then I have Ivory Cashmere. They are no way similar. Um, this one is a, like, crystal-y, or I don't know. Um, this has fresh liquid air, silver musk, and white amber. Yeah, like amber. Um, I'm pretty sure amber is, like, something you find in, it's like a, a sap that hardens, so kind of like a crystal, but <laughs> not really. Um, anyways, I do like this one a lot. It's very fresh, very, um, like, boss woman kind of vibes. Very nice. Then we have Vanilla Mocha Cream. This one's very nice, except it doesn't have much of a, um, a coffee note. Notes are cozy cappuccino, vanilla organ, white tonka bean. Um, yeah, so basically, cappuccino is like a milky coffee. Mocha is chocolate and coffee. So I wish it was more coffee because they claim it's coffee, but it's such a light coffee scent, mostly the tonka and the whipped creamy note. Then we have Cozy Evening. I didn't used to like this one, but now I really do. The notes are Lavender Blooms, Fresh Freesia, and Cozy Musk. It's so beautiful. I do love it. I think I'm getting more into like the fresh cozy scents. I don't still like super fresh scents, but the fresh ones with cozy, like snuggly elements, I do really like. The next scent I have is Golden Ocean Pearl. This is like a better, more softer, creamier version of In the Stars. It definitely has more of a vanilla creamy note, so I do like this a lot. It smells like In the Stars, just softer and more creamy, so yes. I also have my Amber, Midnight Amber Glow, which is kind of like right here. I have a pretty good dent on this one. Um, those are the notes. There's pretty much, there's no latte and like no amber, basically. This almost, almost always smells like completely just amber. And I wish there was more latte. I wish there was a crap ton more caramel. But <clears throat> there's just really not. Um, and it's mostly an amber scent with a hint of sweetness. And I don't like it that much. But it was growing on me when I was using it, so I kept it. Next, I have a gift from Sonia. This is Afternoon Sunshine. So, yeah, those are the notes. Um, this does have a really nice scent. It is peaches and apple in the woods. It does smell like that. It's a very fresh, creamy scent. I do like it a lot, and it's just super perfect for, like, the afternoon. And I love, like, the... This is, like, the exclusive test stores kind of lid, so I love that. Whew! And then a sweet candy one, Pink Watermelon Blast. This has watermelon, strawberry, and lime. So it is, like, a super limey strawberry watermelon candy kind of scent and i love it so much and then last for this row it's fresh coconut and cotton um yeah i think this one smells a little bit off sometimes sometimes this smells like bathroom air freshener to me sometimes it doesn't so what i really need to do is wear it on my body <coughs> and pair it with some other things but i think it's a pretty okay scent the first one in the new row is tahiti island dream and if i remember this one is a sweet, fruity lime and like, I don't know, like a lime scent. It's, yeah, I can't describe this one because I don't have the notes and I haven't really taken the time to wear this one very much. Then we have Fairy Tale. This is supposed to be a similar or dupe to um, YSL's Lieb or Libre, I don't know. Um, I think it's Libre, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, um, I like this one. It's very green, but also has a hint of vanilla and orange. Then we have Toasted Praline and Pear. This one is, like, a super sweet, crusty, as in, like, like pie crust, sugared, caramel, like, baked pralines, or, like, pecans and pears, sweet baked pear. It's such a good scent. Also, I have Jory Sugared Snickerdoodle. This is just a creamy, extremely buttery sugar cookie scent with a hint of spice. I also have Magic in the Air. and This is just a powdery, sweet, almond, fluffy kind of scent. Very pretty, very sophisticated. I also have two pear creme brulees. I love these. It's a sweet, sugary, fresh pear with a hint of like a um, creamy, I don't know, like 
almost whipped kind of note. Then I have a mint chocolate swirl. This is supposed to smell like um, coconut mint drop. It does not. Left definitely left definitely less um, coconutty and minty, but it is a nice soft coconut mint fragrance. Next, I have Cloud Nine. This is a soft lavender, almost peppery type of scent. Yeah, I think the amber gives it that peppery note, but I really do like this one as well. I also have Beautiful Day. This is a um, crisp, apple-y, fresh scent. I love this one so much. I have Fresh Getaway. This one is a perfect, like, kind of rich, you're rich and you're going swimming kind of scent. I love this one a lot. Um, it's a very nice fresh scent. Obviously, I don't like it as much as my Gourmands, but it's still good. Um, I have Fresh Sparkling Snow. This is, like, amazing scent. You definitely get that pear. Sorry. You definitely get that pear you get the melon the apple and a hint of the creamy blossoms and musk it's like a super fruity sparkling drink type of scent then we have twinkling midnight sky um yeah you get the vanilla and the blackberry and a hint of the floral it's just super beautiful blackberry vanilla with a hint of floral scent it's very um i don't know elevated then i have two iced sugar plum um, yeah, this is like berry waffle cone, but um, not as strong, not like the waffle cone scent, just like the berries and vanilla. Um, this definitely does have a marshmallow scent, though, as well. Okay, then I have three blueberry sugar pancakes. Um, those are the no notes. This is a super strong artificial blueberry in the best way possible with that pancakes and definitely some caramel. I love it so much. And last one I find for find fragrance mist collection. <laughs> Uh oh, things are falling. Um, is Dream Bright. This is a super nice um berries and vanilla scent with a hint of that perfumed orchid. It's really nice and I do love it. So yeah, that is like my entire collection. It's all messed up now, but I'm gonna go put it back. This is what the finished fine fragrance mists look like. I kind of have them. They're organized in rows of color, not in a rainbow, but just with like the red and pinks and purples and then like blues and yellows and stuff. So yeah. So next we have lotions. The first one I have is Ice Sugar Plum, and then I have Twinkly Minute Sky, Blue Sugar Pancakes, and Sleigh Rides and Snuggles. Then I have Forever Red, Hope Under Peach Marshmallow, and Vanilla Whipped Cream. Then I have Whipped Rose Latte, Joy Sugar Snicker Doodle, and Beautiful Day. I have Midnight Amber Glow, Ivory Cashmere, and Pink Suede. I have Beach Nights, Pear Crumb Relay, Peach Recycle Macaron, I have Golden Ocean Pearl, Rose, and then Saltwater Breeze. So on this side, we have breakfast this morning. We have wrapped in vanilla, strawberry snowflakes, and now they're wrapped in vanilla. I love the scent, obviously. Black raspberry vanilla, Magic in the Air, and Fresh Getaway, Whipped Berry Meringue, Autumn Drive, and Strawberry Pound Cake. Then Marshall Pumpkin Latte, Berry Waffle Cone, and Be Enchanted. And then Cactus Blossom, Happy Vibes, and Pink Pineapple Sunrise. So that's it for my lotions. Okay, so now we're going to do body creams. And I just don't have the energy to do it on my bed. So we're just going to go row by row. First one I have is Afternoon Sunshine. Then I have Fall in Bloom and Blueberry Sugar Pancakes. Next row, I have Pink Velvet Cupcake, Cozy Season, Pink Suede, and almond blossom. We also have vanilla confetti sparkle, pear creme brulee, peach recycle macaron, and sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And we see in the stars, pastel skies, vanilla coconut, and gang of love. So that's it for my body creams. So for my shower gels, I guess we'll start with like the one special one. This is the Cloud Nine Cleansing Body Mousse. Okay, so starting over here, I have Twinkly Midnight Sky, Fresh Sparkling Snow, and then Sleigh Rides and Snuggles, all from the same collection. I also have Joy Sugar Snoop Doodle, Magic in the Air, and Golden Ocean Pearl. Another green one, we have Pear Crumb Delay. I have Shaving Apple and Honey, Pink Velvet Cupcake, I have Pink Room for all these, Blueberry Sugar Pancakes, Autumn Drive, Cactus Pasta, and I have another Blueberry Sugar Pancakes. Pink Pineapple Sunrise, and Poolside Coconut Colada. And then in the back there, I have Berry Wolf Cone, Fresh Getaway, and Tahiti Island Dream. And I have Brown Cherry and Fang, and Sunset Glow. And then I have Hope and Her Peach Marshmallow, Cozy Season, and Forever Red. I have Almond Blossom, and Ivory Cashmere. 
and pink suede. Then I have happy vibes behind it, pastel skies, beach nights behind it, beautiful day. Fairy tale behind it is gingham. So yeah, that is my like complete shower gel collection. And yeah. For normal scrubs, I just have Midnight Amber Glow and Champagne Apple and Honey. And then for body butters, I have Champagne Apple and Honey and Bonfire Bash. Okay, so my two Beth Meyer perfumes are in like the, the depths of my closet, on so my dresser in the back. So I have Saltwater Breeze. Um, and in this time, so don't mind the blue wall. This is the color my room used to be when I was like 12. I've since repainted it white but um i didn't want to paint my closet so yeah my little shelf and my perfumes so for aromatherapy scrubs i have the guava orange energy sea salt body scrub i have the inspire joy juniper and sage salt body scrub as well as the breathe deep eucalyptus and lavender sea salt body scrub here we have the rest of my aromatherapy i have sleep black chamomile body cream and then i have the tea tree peppermint exfoliant body wash i have the tea dream peppermint um, body lotion, the cozy cinnamon sandal body lotion, the aromatherapy chamomile bergamot sleep, and then the cinnamon sandalwood mist. I have this aromatherapy sleep chamomile and bergamot body butter. So as far as my minis collection go, I don't have many items, but I do have some pocket bags. I have toasted vanilla chai, I have winter candy apple, um, gingerbread bakery, and the cracking me up peppermint sugar cookie. So, um, very cool on those. And then I have this other bin up here that has some things behind my room sprays. I have the At The Beach Sea Salt Hair Mist. I have a peppermint sugar cookie antibacterial hand spray. I have a really nice white coconut caramel mist. Um, I have Bolly Rosé. And then I have two hand creams. They're both my way. One in pumpkin pecan waffles and the other in Joy Sugar Snake Doodle. So that is the extent of my minis collection, which is kind of sad. But yeah, that's it. So, yeah, you guys, that was my complete Bath & Body Works body care collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you later. Bye!